In this video, we are going to learn about some essential mathematical formulas. Those are used every day in hospitals for calculation of medication doses. After watching this video, you will be able to calculate dose for any intravenous or intramuscular injections. You will be able to determine intravenous infusion rate in drops per minute and the total infusion time required. You will also be able to accurately calculate oral medication dose for children. The formula for that is IM equals to F into W into D which is divided by S. Here IM stands for the total amount of the mixture fluid that is to be injected. S stands for the total amount of reconstitution fluid. W stands for weight of the subject. D stands for reference dose for the particular medication and S stands for the strength of the particular medication available in the market. Now, you will have to keep in mind that the route we are using is intramuscular, so the total mixture of fluid and medications should not exceed 2 ml in amount, else it will be a very painful injection for the baby. Let me give you an example so that you know how to use the formula. A 9 kg baby needs ceftriaxone and intramuscular injection once daily at a rate of 50 mg per kg per day. The amount of total injectable fluid should not exceed 2 ml. Calculate his dose. We have the following information from the problem given above. The weight of the baby is 9 kg. Reconstitution fluid is 2 ml. Reference dose 50 mg per kg per day. Ceftriaxone injections come with several strengths such as 250 mg, 500 mg, 1 g and 2 g. Which one we should prefer depends upon the amount of total dose, which we will get by multiplying the weight with the reference dose. Following the multiplication, we get the result of 450 mg which is closer to the strength 500 mg. So the preferable strength will be 500 mg injection and the result of the calculation we get is 1.8 ml which means we have to inject 1.8 ml of the reconstituted medications intramuscularly. If we want to give the injection through the intravenous route, then we can take more fluid instead of 2 ml. With this same formula, we can calculate either intramuscular or intravenous injections. Sometimes we need to calculate the drop rate that is required for a particular infusion process to be given within a specific period of time. Or we simply choose a drop rate and the patient might ask how long it is going to take for the infusion process to be finished. With the following formula, it is very easy to calculate both the drop rate and the required time with almost 99% accuracy. Here, DR stands for the drop rate or the infusion rate. W stands for weight in kilograms. FR stands for reference fluid rate, T for time in hours, and 4 is a constant. This constant depends upon the milliliter and drop equation. In some countries, 1 milliliter is counted as 20 drops, and in others, 1 milliliter is counted as 15 drops. We have counted 15 drops, so the constant here is 4. But if in your hospital you count 1 milliliter is equal to 20 drops, then you should take the constant 3 instead of 4. To understand how this formula works, let us look at another example. A 15 kg baby needs infusion of normal saline at a rate of 100 milliliters per kg within 12 hours. Calculate the infusion rate or the drop rate. Here we have the following information. The weight of the baby is 15 kg. Fluid rate is 100 ml per kilogram and the time for the infusion process to be finished is 12 hours. Now let us put the values into the equation. After finishing the calculation, we get the answer 31.25 drops, which means the infusion rate should be 31 drops per minute in order for the infusion process to be finished within 12 hours. With the same formula, we can calculate the approximate time that is required for a particular infusion process to be finished. At a specific infusion rate. Let us look at another example. A 15 kg baby needs intravenous infusion at a rate of 100 mg per kg and 15 drops per minute. Calculate the time required for the infusion process to be finished. In this problem, we have drop rate 15 drops per minute, weight 15 kg, and fluid rate 100 mg per kg. We will have to find out the time required for the infusion process to be finished. To find it out, we will have to slightly rearrange the formula. 
After the calculation, we get the answer 24 hours, which is the required time. This way, other variables such as the weight and the fluid rate can also be calculated. Sometimes, if the patient is a newborn baby, then we use micro drops instead of drops to calculate the rate and time. One drop equals to four micro drops, and the formula is the following. Here, micro dr stands for micro drops, w stands for the weight in kilograms, fr stands for the rate of the fluid, and t means time in hours. The result will be in micro drops per minute. You can pause the video here if you like and try to solve the following problem by yourself and let me know the answer in the comment section below. A 3.5 kg newborn baby needs intravenous infusion at a rate of 60 ml per kg. The infusion process should be finished within 21 hours. Calculate the infusion rate in micro drops. Here is the thing you will have to keep in mind. One teaspoonful is equal to 5 ml. In this formula, TSF stands for teaspoonful, W for weight in kg, D for the reference dose and S stands for the strength. Now let us look at the following example for better understanding. A 20 kg child needs oral azithromycin at a rate of 10 mg per kg per day once daily for 3 days. Calculate the dose. Azithromycin oral solution is available in 200 mg per 5 ml in strength or we can say 200 mg in each teaspoonful of the solution. Now let us put the values into the variables. After finishing the calculation, we get the answer 1 teaspoonful. That means the required dose is 1 TSF every day for 3 days. Those were the calculation techniques used in the pediatrics department every day by the doctors and nurses all over the world. All you need to do now is to practice these formulas and you will never make any mistakes again. I hope you have enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.